So let's talk about sections in Google Forms and see what that's all about. So in previous couple of videos, we built this form and this form is all on a single page. So when we preview for the user, this is the form and all the questions are on a single page and our user is going to complete this form and hit submit. When you have a lot of questions in your form, this is going to be unnecessarily long on a single page. There are a lot of reasons you don't want it to be long. So you might not want the person completing your form to see all the questions beforehand as they're completing the form and you want them to go through the process step by step and you want to just organize this a little better so it doesn't look like a mess. So for that, you can use something that's called a section. So if I go back to the form, I can go back here, see the last item in this list. So the first one is adding a question, if you remember, and the last item is to add a section. So I'm going to click add section. So now I have my form separated into two sections. I have this top section here and the second section below. Now, the way you want to think about sections as a page in the form. So if I preview this for right now, see this first section includes this email address field. So if I preview this, you'll see that this is the page and it's going to ask for an email and then you'll have to hit next to actually go to the next section, which is going to be the next page with all the questions on the next section. So I'm going to close this for a second. We'll probably want to move some of these questions from here, from this section to this section, which we can do by simply dragging and dropping. So I'm going to grab this question for the name, move it to this section on top. I'm going to move the age here as well. And possibly zip code. And I probably don't even want this age question here, so let's delete it. So that's gone. So we're going to ask for email, name and zip code. And then we're going to have our second section and we're going to give this a name. And we can also add a little description, which is optional. And below we'll have questions here. So we have the first question, we have the second question and we have this comment. So I'll probably also move this comment to its own section as well. I'm going to add yet another section for whatever reason it went to the top. Now I wanted this section to be the third one probably to move this. You could just click here and do move section. And then you could just show which section should be where. So I could just drag this now above this one below hit save. And now we have our first section here. We're going to have our second section here, I guess. And then we'll move our comments question to the third section. And now I have three sections. You can think about it like three pages. So if I go here and preview, so now we have the first page. So it's going to be our email name and zip code. Oh, we have validation here more than two characters. Then our zip code. And that takes us to the next part of our form. So we're going to choose our applications, hit next. And do we want to add some comments? Sure. Hit submit. And there it is. So we completed our form. So now we have this multi-step process in our form instead of just having the whole thing on a single page. Now, a couple of quick things before we finish with this video. If you have a section that already includes things you need, so let's say you have this section with these technical questions and you want something very similar to that, you can just click on this and duplicate that section and see we have another copy of that entire thing. You can obviously delete the entire section as well. And then sometimes when you have 
this section and you have another section above and you want to combine them together, you could just go for the second one, click on this little icon here and merge with above and it's going to create single section from those two together. And finally, when you start having a lot of questions, it will probably get a little confusing because you'll have to scroll down and managing this is gonna be more difficult. So you'll probably want to just click on this little arrow up down and basically it's just gonna minimize this entire section of questions so you can manage this easily. And that should do it for this video. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.